Hey everybody, this is Deidre and I am back with another video. I know it's been about two weeks, three weeks since I made another video or my last video and I just wanted to show some products that I've purchased over a month span of time. I think maybe two months. Um, like this little product haul, I guess. I'm not going to really do any reviews on the products. I'm going to make separate videos for the review part of it. But I just wanted to show what I've gotten over, like I said, a month's time. But these Wet n Wild eyeshadow palettes. This one is in Don't Steal My Thunder. And this one here is in Spoiled Brat. Um, I believe these are either $1.99 or $2.99. I can't exactly remember the price on them. Um, I got this one when I saw Shalinda One. I think she either reviewed it or she did like a product haul on this one. And when I saw how pretty it was, I just had to go out and buy it. It's so gorgeous. And the camera is not really picking up the prettiness of this. The prettiness. I don't even think that's a word. But this is like a really pretty, pretty hot pink kind of color. And I just fell in love with this black Next here. Next thing here, I got this from Sephora. And I believe it was like... $14.99, $14.50, I don't know, it was like 50, over $15 with tax. And this is a Josie Moran Organic Argan Oil Moisturizer. And um, this is what it looks like here. Put it in upside down, that's great. Um, it looks like this, it's just straight up Argan Oil. It has a little dopper, dropper thingy on it. It's pretty cool, so it helps you kind of monitor how much you um, are using. I had originally bought this to use as a moisturizer on my face because I have really oily skin. But that did not help with my oily skin, so now I just use it in my hair. Um, and it's really good for your hair as well. You can use it wherever you want to. Um, I got that as well. Um, in my very first video, I was talking about getting this product, which is the MAC, the MAC Studio Tech. Um, I didn't get it in that video because I did not have it in my color and I was going back and forth about this because I really wanted to try this foundation. I just was like, you know, get it because you're not going to stop obsessing over the fact that you don't have it until you get it. And my color here is an NC50. I really like this foundation. Like I said, I'm not going to do a review on it I, or review it now. I will make another video reviewing this foundation, but I do like it. And I believe this costs 26 dollars 26 to me as well i think i said that i returned this this is the clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel I, in my first video i said i returned it because i said i didn't do anything but i went back and repurchased it and it came with this here it's like little oop, these little sample sizes of the clarifying lotion and the um the liquid facial soap for oily skin it came with this and i had got it from like one of those ccls and those discounted um discounted stores that you can go they sell like name brand stuff department store stuff like this and like found um makeup and stuff i got it from one of those and this together cost 19 dollars with those two little ones in this and i'm glad i returned the other one because this is a better deal that little tube one that i already hip Cream, line, cream eyeliner. It's just black. It basically uses it up here. I'm not very good with this either. It, it definitely takes a very good, strong, sturdy hand. Um, I'm, I'm still learning how to use this. I will say practice makes perfect with this. Um, I don't wear it every day because I'm not very good at it. And some days I just don't feel like even being bothered with it. So I don't wear it a lot. But when I do, it, um, it, it definitely takes some time to get used to using it. Professionals there. Um, the little thing that popped off goes here. It's a little brush that spins. Um, I got this from Walmart. It was like $30, $29.97 or something like that. Um, it basically is a, I don't know why it looks so dark all of a sudden. Um, it basically is a cleanser. It's like the cheap or the poor man's version of like the Clarisonic I don't have $300 or however much those things cost to spend on something that this does, I'm sure, just as good. I don't know because I don't have a Clarisonic. I've never used one. I don't even really intend on buying one because this works really well. I would definitely make a big hard candy welcome mat. It's basically a mattifying powder. You put this on at the end. It's like a, a setting powder. Um, 
it says hard candy right there and there which is really cute it's starting to you know fade a little bit there for me using it and then under the bottom here if I can open it it comes with this little cute sponge that says hard candy and then it has a cute little but I've got two of these Revlon lip colors these are in color burst collection this one here is in Sienna Sparkle and this one is in Rose Petal I will show you what they look like this is the Sienna Sparkle and this is the Rose Petal this is what I have on my lips right now I have a case of the droppies right now please excuse me um is the elf glossy gloss and this is in berry blush this is what I have on my lips right now I will show you a swap of that as well or a swatch of that it looks like this it looks very similar to the rose petal one from Revlon except this one is a little bit more matte this one has sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see that little shimmer. And this one is just straight color. And the other one here, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to do a review on this, is the, I don't know if you can see that, is the L'Oreal Infallible 6 Hour Never Fail Lip Gloss. This is a really good lip gloss. This is the swatch of that, and this color is Sangria. To um, show you are these brushes that I got. The first brush that I got was the Sigma F50 brush. It's a dual fiber brush. It's kind of like the 187 from MAC. Um, this was the first brush that I got and when I first first received this brush I initially did not like this brush and because I did not initially like this brush within like that same day or maybe the next day that I received this one I went to Target and I got the Sonia Kishik one and that's upside down. Sonia Kishik, Kishik, I don't know, whatever her name is, which is basically the same brush because I saw a lot of reviews on this brush on YouTube and a lot of people said it was a really good brush. So I had to go and buy this one because I initially did not like this brush. And when I was at that same discounted like CCO store, I saw this little gift set here of this here, this little Mac set. It was like four brushes came with this one this is the 187 I know it's not the actual like 187 the really good one but I was still like I have to have this brush anyway so I did have here speaking of blushes since I just said something about blushes are I got two blushes from Mac this one here is in plum foolery I don't know why I put everything upside down here you go plum foolery this is what it looks like it's just like a purpley, um, shimmery kind of color. You can't really see it on here. Just lighting in right now is terrible. Sorry about that. And then I got this from that CCO as well, that discounted store that I was telling you guys about. It's another MAC blush, but this one is matte. This one does not have any shimmer in it at all, which is why I like it, because it's just straight, like a purple color. And this one is in dirty plum and body one this is what i returned the matte velvet for for this one it's a really sheer coverage i don't know if you can hear that but it's really watery it's a really sheer coverage at first but i don't think it's really as sheer as a lot of people say it is because you can definitely build it up to the coverage you want it to you're never going to build it up to full coverage that's just never going to happen you're probably at some point going to need to put a concealer on or just not even bother with it if you want that full of a coverage I'm wearing it right now I think it looks really nice it has a slight like dewiness look to it because my face is not oily it's just it's just color this is in 12 this is my color and it looks very similar to my NC50 for Mac which is what I brought I brought my studio fix with me but I do like this I'm definitely gonna do a review on this as well yeah, this cost $38 watching my video I know it was kind of long I tend to talk a lot but um, yeah I will stay tuned for some reviews on some of these products that I just mentioned if you want to know anything about any of them just let me know like I said thanks for watching and comment rate and subscribe and you guys have a good day and I will see you some other time bye